Chris and I bonded immediately. We both recognized we have the same passion. He goes, oh my God, the pickles here are horrible. We really wanted some good pickles ourselves. And the last thing I said to him was, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this together. A business? Pickles? I could do this. My name is Chris Hobson. I'm the Hobbs in Kalen and Pops Pickles. My name is Scott Kalen. I'm one of the co-founders of Kalen and Hobbs. So we're in Vancouver, beautiful British Columbia. This is one of the most fantastic places to live. When we came out here, every pickle was soft. They got shoved to the back of your fridge. So we wanted to change that. This is one of the things Chris and I were 100% aligned on. Do one thing and do it better than everyone else. For us, it was making sure that we had the best crunchiest, coldest, tastiest pickles on the West Coast. New York is the source of where the best pickles are made with 150 years of pickle making history. So we wanted to go to the source, meet with all the original pickling families and see who it was that we could partner with to do what we wanted to do here on the West Coast. Chris designed this amazing pickle bar. We brought in what we thought was going to be enough pickles for a month and six days later, sold out. At that point, we knew we were in business. These are just our classic crunchy kosher dills. It's our number one flavor. We call this our gateway pickle. When people branch out and try the other flavors, they start to get really engaged. We then got interest by a lot of uh, chefs in the city. What they ended up doing was taking it to a next level. Uh, right now, we are at the Yale Town Brewery. They really get inspired by what we've created and they want to do something with it. You've got our jalapeno pickles and they're done as these deep fried sticks. We've got our pickle pizza and then they've got their grilled cheese sandwich with the pickle on top. It's really cool that we're able to partner with like-minded local businesses that say, hey, let's create something together. We are at Loblaws City Market. A lot of times when you are in this environment, it's extremely busy. So how do we cut through that? Simplify. So looking at the labels, looking at the typography, making sure that it still feels whimsical and fun, but it's very clean and very simple. That's what you see when you look at the shelf. So it's a really interesting market, and it's a totally different aspect of our business. So we are in the original farmer's market in West Hollywood. They've been unbelievably receptive to us. They feel our passion for what we do. We're in the process now, under construction, to build our first U.S. pickle tasting bar. The tasting station here uh, will be set in and it's gonna be on ice. You do sit back as an entrepreneur sometimes when you start a business and say, you know, I did it once, was it a fluke? And I think that validation of the response from everyone here, even before we've opened, Chris gets on our website messages from people here asking when we're gonna open. So I, I have total faith we'll be all over LA. Thank you. When I found GoDaddy and started building the website, it was an exercise in simplicity. We knew we needed a platform that was quick and fast. It's literally a hub where all of our business goes in from a wholesale side. We get people that write us from all over the world through the website as well. Everything is saved in the back end. So anytime we send out an email marketing, we definitely see a spike in traffic. The website is your ultimate online presence. So to have that and make sure we have enough content on there that is really driven towards what we've created is key. In the two and a half years, we have two retail locations, soon to be 36 grocery stores, about 30 restaurants. It's been one of the most exciting and humbling experiences I've, I've ever had in my life. We've taken a pickle beyond being a condiment. It's no longer just something to add to a sandwich or a burger. It stands on its own. To me, my personal success is standing behind the pickle bar and seeing people's reactions every day, how excited they are, how happy they are, knowing that we've created something that people actually love and it makes them happy. That to me is a success.